And the match is now underway for qualification match number four. It looks like the first power cells being cleaned up off the ground are Waxton in red and Ryan in blue. First scoring is coming from Waxton. Their alliance partners now alongside them. That's a early commanding lead for the red alliance, but blue now starting to catch up. They picked up just as many power cells off the playing field floor. Red though does establish a lead by about 22 points coming out of the pseudo autonomous portion of our match. All three of those red robots crowding the red alliance feeding station and going back underneath the trench toward that Red Alliance power port, trying to extend their lead as quickly as possible early in this match. LOL 2586 and their alliance partner Jason on the Blue Alliance are cycling back and forth. They're going back to the loading station while their alliance partner Ryan goes up for the Blue Alliance, adding at least 10 more points to that Blue Alliance score. Just over a minute and a half remaining in the match, both sides of the field have scored 39 power cells, but the Red Alliance does have a lead. That's due to the double value of power cells during the autonomous period and possibly a few more cells scored into the inner port. While we cannot see it from the audience perspective, there is an inner port in those power ports where it is worth three instead of two for the power cells that enter. Just over one minute remaining, still a Red Alliance lead, but this match could still go either way. We've seen a streak of Blue Alliance victories so far. Red is looking to switch this up. Waxton and Pollux doing plenty of scoring for Red. It looks like Silverhawk, their Alliance partner, gathering as many power cells as they can off the playing field floor and deploying a few down for their Alliance partner as we enter the final minute of qualification, match number four. The Blue Alliance has started a bit of a comeback. They only trail by seven points and they have scored more power cells at this point than the Red Alliance. 10 seconds until endgame, no scoring happening at the moment, but Blue looks ready between Ryan and LOL. At least 10 power cells going up now that could swing the match in favor of the Blue Alliance. Red working hard to make a comeback, a collision between Jason and Silverhawk, Red and Blue, as Red tries to pick up a few more final points during the endgame for this match. Blue does take the lead, if only momentarily. No robots in the rendezvous point quite yet, with 15 seconds left. Left. All three robot, red robots still trying to score in the power port. Less than 10 seconds now. All six robots still have their wheels on the ground. Two red robots in the rendezvous point. One has made contact. It looks like that is Pollux in red, possibly up off the ground. And time expires in qualification match number four. Final results for that match do indicate a Blue Alliance victory, 370 points to 299 in favor of the Blue Alliance. It does look like both alliances did score more than 90 power cells. That means the Red Alliance will not walk away empty handed. They will earn one ranking point. The Blue Alliance will earn three, two for the win and one for the power cell score. For the end game, both end game scores were under 65 points. So we will not be awarding the shield generator operational ranking point for this match. That does conclude match four. We're going to be switching over to the science server for qualification match number five in just a few moments. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.